ルタラとドットルシープピリットパロポルタラとドットルシープピリットパロ Rest in peace. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, man. See, that, th this looks so clean. Yeah, no, animation is clean. Oh, he looks like. Oh, this, is, this must be some of the new characters. In an unknown world. That's probably the demon world. Glorio. Ponzi. <laughs> yep, they're in the demon realm. Okay. Okay, I like this song. It, it, it's poppy. Yo, look at Mini Piccolo. <laughs> mm. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Ah! Nice. All right. Kid Goku looking in Super Saiyan looks kind of fire. Nah, that, yo, that's, that's beautiful. That animation is fire, bro. Well, this definitely takes place after the boo. You think so? Did you not? Did you not just see what the what should we call it? The one frame where it was Goku doing the sphere bomb shit. <gasps> oh, to Kid Buu, yeah. right? Oh, Am so I when tripping? I think I I think I know what you mean. So hold on, like, let me. Yeah, let, if you let, go let me, to if you go back, it was like right around in, here. It's like, no, it's in the beginning. It's like oh, in, in the beginning. It's like in the middle somewhere. Hold on, let me let me try to find it. I'm trying to like go there, right yeah, here, yeah, right there. Oh, 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 oh. okay. That's so he says sayonara. Nigga. Yeah, <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. No, no, no. So this part, I think I know exactly what. you're... Okay, yeah, right yeah, yeah. Here. Okay, 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 okay. So I think, uh, I think Geekdom actually talked about this on one of his videos. He mentions that kind of like do you okay? Do you remember at the beginning of Superhero where? In the superhero movie, they had that yeah. clean when animation the androids of things. all the androids and not even just the androids, but they had a lot of like the Red Ribbon Army related scenes, even going back to Dragon Ball. Yeah. And now you remember that animation style? So he said that they're doing something similar to that, but with this. So I'd imagine that this scene right here is actually what you said, that they are going to be recapping them defeating Majin Buu. So, of and course, it takes place after, after that. After, after, yeah. But does it take place directly after? Or is it going to take place sometime after maybe. all the things that happen to Super and da da da, da. But seeing this, that, that might be a, a nice little indicator that it may just take place right after Buu. Yeah. That's a good eye. I like that. Very good. <laughs> Very good. All right. Well, yeah. So, I mean, overall, I thought, hey, man, listen. I thought the trailer was fire. I thought the trailer was fire. I like that little little boppy little song. I'm not I'm not saying it's not no hey shallah. I'm not saying that. I'm not saying it's not then 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 I'm not saying it's that either. But what I am saying is that it's I, you know what? I'm not, let me let me not trip. I'm just I'm just happy that we're getting new Dragon Ball, bro. I'm, I I can't lie. I fucking I can't lie. I, ha I cannot be the only one that feels like this. Especially, like, we've been deprived. And, th and this, is the, this is the toxic part of this entire IP, is that over the last decade plus, they have conditioned us to literally get something and then we don't get shit for an extended period of time. And we're just ma made to wait. And some... Uh, from other fandoms might be like, oh, you Dragon Ball motherfuckers, y'all can't, you got no patience, got no, because they, they're, yeah, because they're probably like, oh, like, look at, look at us Hunter Hunter fans, we're dying out here, <laughs> we're fucking, we're dry, we don't got shit, but, but I get it, but, but the, the facts are the facts, I cannot be the only one that is excited when I see brand new Dragon Ball story official, especially, especially the most important part of all this is this is the last 
thing Toriyama had his hand in. You know what I'm saying? Like, think about that. Anything that comes after this, it's it's literally in the hands of Toei, Toyotaro, Akio Yoku. Even with what hasn't been released in the manga? Exactly. Like, like all that's all the extra shit from the manga that that wasn't him at all. No, no, no. Like so, from this point forward, like as of the last chapter, because he maybe oversaw that or something, maybe not. But from this point forward, like this is the last thing Toriyama's done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know that. I, I guess my question is more so like, um. Let's say, like, they revisit Moro Arc or whatever the case may be. Like, that shit. Okay, like, obviously that doesn't really count. Because it's, like, that's work that we've seen in some format. It's just getting an adaptation. So it's, like, they can literally just go off of the manga and not make too many changes. And then everyone will be satisfied anyway. However, once they get past that and we get to the freaking end of Z... Yeah, yeah. That is when we will truly see a Dragon Ball. We will see a world where Dragon Ball is not penned or at least supervised by Mr. Toriyama, bro. Mm-hmm. And that actually makes me very sad. Obviously, there's nothing we can do about it. But that actually brings up my next thing that I want to talk about, which is the the Dragon Ball Super manga returning. 